Hello students, today we are going to see this uh, new chapter which is known as e-commerce security systems. So in this chapter we are going to see this uh, basics of e-commerce security system and we are going to know the different types of e-commerce threats and we are going to uh, see the dimensions of e-commerce security and uh, we are going to understand about security technologies in e-commerce transaction. So the first thing is e-commerce security. So uh, before going into that e-commerce security, we have to know what is security. Okay. So e-commerce security is a set of protocol to safeguard e-commerce transaction through the internet. So to safeguard your e-commerce transaction in the internet, we are creating a security protocol. Okay so protocols means set of rules okay so these rules has to be followed to make a secure and safe transaction so next is diff different types of e-commerce threats so it may be accidental okay e-commerce threats may be accidental means not intentional okay by mistake you you can uh, create a, a mistransaction or uh, a different amount of uh, uh, cash transaction okay for uh, for for entering five zeros you are entered only four zeros this is a uh, this is a human error okay so this may be a, this may be a human error transaction this is an accidental one and another type of uh, one thing is intentional okay so to to get profit from the transaction or to get gain control of the transaction so this is uh, intentional okay so there is this is uh, these are all the two types of uh, e, e common types of uh, e transaction threats so the, uh, the the common another thing is virus okay virus can harm the computers uh, thereby harm the uh, effect efficiency and smooth functioning of e-commerce some fire some virus destroy all the information stored in the computer and causes huge loss of revenue and time uh, the emergency of the emergency of computer virus and their variance has rapidly increased over past decade the computer has uh, turned has turned to be the best media for the spread of uh, viruses uh, many new virus that directly use the internet as their mode of transmission causing huge economic loss to e-business so the first thing in uh, e uh, types of e-transactions and threats is information leakage okay so the information of the uh, seller or the customer uh, a credit card or debit card uh, information can be stored in some kind of uh, uh, some kind of information in the computer so this may get leaked or this by accidental or in, 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 intentional uh, leak okay so by this you can get access to the account uh, and get some illegal revenue okay so uh, this is information leakage so pushing pushing uh, is also uh, the last year itself we have you have studied what is pushing and uh, it is unauthorized okay it is unauthorized access of uh, stealing information about login credential so that is uh, that is known as pushing so in e-commerce uh, threat is uh, threat in which the target contacts uh, contacts by email phone number text message by someone who pretend himself as a genuine authority they, get, they try to tap individual to pro provide sensitive data such as banking and credit credit card details otp pin or password okay once they succeeded the result will lead to devastating access uh, acts such as identity theft and uh, uh, identity theft and financial loss 
so next is uh, tampering so uh, tampering e-commerce e-commerce has a problem of authenticity and integration of business information when uh, hackers gra- uh, grasp the data transmitted on the network he can be uh, falsify the mid- uh, falsify the middle through various technical uh, technical technical means and then send the uh, destination there by destroying the authenticity and integrity of the data so so here you can see that the hackers can get access to the packet that is transmitted on the network especially in the e-commerce uh, transaction and uh, get all the details and uh, transmit the false uh, details uh, change the packets and send the false details through the internet okay so this is uh, tampering next is uh, payment uh, frauds okay it payment frauds means uh, as subset like uh, subset like friendly fraud when customer demands false false reclaim and refunds so uh, clear for uh, clear fraud when a stole credit card is used to, to make a purchase so that is known as clear fraud uh, triangular fraud false online shopping of uh, offering cheapest price and correct credit card details okay so they will create a fall a false website that will uh, that will give you that will give you uh, uh, branded shirts in a very low price so people will uh, give their card details to this uh, site okay so they will not send any deliver any goods to you or uh, they will not deliver any products to you but they will collect all the credit card Uh, card details okay mm. here you can see that next uh, threat is malicious code threat so this is a, a scripting code that will be attached as a injection virus or uh, some virus at the, uh, some virus function that will be given into the input fields of a website okay so that the the code will be executed and then it will provide you the required output okay so that is malicious code thread and it is also known as injection virus okay next is distributed denial of service attack so this is a this this is intentionally created to slow down your computer okay so this will create as many process that it can okay so the process the 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 processor of the computer will will have a limit of creating process okay say for example a pentium 4 processor can handle uh, 5 lakhs of uh, process so this uh, denial of service process will create as many uh, process like 4 4 lakhs 75000 process uh, fakely okay so that the cpu will fully engage and uh, Uh, fully engage in all the other process and doesn't have the process to create, uh, work with the os or uh, or doesn't have any uh, process to create or to work with the uh, operating system process so the other actions of the operating system will get slowed down and the entire system will crash okay so this is known as denial of service attack next is cyber squatting so cyber squatting is illegal practice of registering an internet domain okay so here you can see that a famous company needs a website okay so say for example apple.com okay so before the company creates that apple.com some some person will create the and some person will uh, buy that apple.com from the internet okay so if the company needs uh, that uh, that uh, domain desperately then they will go uh, they will contact that person and uh, they will uh, they will get the apple.com from that particular person okay so he will be bought that domain for uh, 
ट्वेंटी फाइव डॉलर्स और थर्टी फाइव डॉलर्स ओके बट ही विल सेल दैट फॉर मिलियंस एंड मिलियंस ऑफ डॉलर्स सो दैट ही कैन गेन मोर मनी इन दैट पर्टिकुलर डोमेन ओके सो हियर दिस इज नॉन एज साइबल क्वालिटी सो नेक्स्ट इज टाइपो टाइपो पायरेसी सो विच मीन्स दैट सो फेमस वाइल टाइपिंग फेमस साइट फॉर एक्साम्पल फेसबुक या फेस बी ओ ओके सो दिस इज द स्पेलिंग बट बाई बाई स्पेलिंग मिस्टेक वी मे टाइप दैट बी एल ओ ओके ओके सो फेस ब्लॉक ओके सो बाई टाइपिंग मिस्टेक यू वुड टाइप द मिस्टेक इन वेबसाइट but it will take you to the another website that will look as it is of facebook and it will collect all the details from you okay so this is uh, this is typo piracy and uh, next topic is dimensions of e-commerce security so this uh, dimensions of e-commerce security is uh, consist of uh, authenticity availability complete uh, completeness confidentiality effectiveness integrity and non predictability piracy and reliability and uh, renewability so these are all the factors that are uh, considered for e-commerce security different dimensions of uh, security e-commerce security you can just read it and understand it okay so next is uh, uh, next is security technologies uh used in e-commerce transaction so the, there are three types of uh, uh, technologies one is en- encryption technologies and authentication technologies and uh, authentication protocol so first of all we'll see this uh, encryption technology so here the data will be encrypted with a key okay so plain text with the key will be encrypted with an algorithm and sent to the client okay the client will receive the cipher text okay so plain text so plain text plus key uh, with algorithm forms a cipher text then the cipher text will be transfer transferred to the client or the or the receiver so the receiver receives this uh, cipher text and he will have the key okay he will have the key separately okay so this separate key will be added to the cipher text and given to this algorithm to form the uh, to form the plain text okay so next is uh, asymmetric or public key encryption so this uh, there are two types here symmetric and asymmetric so symmetric means uh, yes here in this description you can in this diagram you can find the difference symmetric key, key means both the party will have the same shared uh, secret key okay so uh, but a symmetric means they will be having a different uh, symmetric key a uh, different key uh, both the sender will have a separate key and receiver will have the separate key but the factor or common factor will be the same okay say for example uh, Let's say for example the uh, receiver will have uh, 74 uh, 7412 okay but the but the uh, uh, sender will have 5472 okay so the common numbers is the key for this mm-hmm. key for the uh, plain text okay so the the hacker may uh, di- try different types of numbers so he will not get the uh, respective key okay so this is known as uh, asymmetric here you can find the um, color codes okay mix, mix of color code first a and b agreed publicly and starting color okay yellow uh agreed color yellow so uh, they will add some text okay so they will add the uh, color red here and add the color blue here okay 
so adding these two colors they will be forming a different color and that different color will be sent to opposite side and they will remove the added color so that they will find the uh, same message okay so this is known as uh, this is known as color coding scheme okay so you can just uh, color code this message okay next is digital certification so this digital certification is a type of uh, a card identity card for, such as password or driving license uh, it will be given this digital signature this digital certificate will be given as a digital format id card so that this id card will be used to, to encrypt and uh, decrypt data okay so here in the figure 17 point two you can find the uh, digital certificate it is given uh, it just gives all the information about uh, who it is for and by which company they have provided and it is valid from which date to which date and it is uh, it is given that it is only for private uh, communication not for public communication everything will be given detailedly in this certification okay uh, so next is you can uh, see that there are different types of uh, digital signature so next is digital signature digital signature is a mechanism that is used to, to verify that a particular digital document message are transmitted in authentic way okay so and this is the difference between digital signature and digital certification so you can just read it and find the difference it's very easy and uh, the next thing is uh, security token nowadays banks are providing these kinds of uh, security tokens so that uh, the encryption key will be generated uh, at every instant of time okay say for example for every 10 second it will generate a key okay so this key will be provided uh, to the uh, to the software so that it will create a secure transaction okay so uh, it will now it, now it displays the keys in this uh, usb pen drive but the e tokens it will not display it you have to insert it in the inside the uh, respective uh, it will not display anything but it, uh, you, you should you should insert it in the pen drive port uh, usb port or in the required slot in the atm card okay atm center okay so that it will create a, a secure transaction and uh, the key will be provided by this uh, device okay or smart card next is authentication pro uh, authentication protocols there are so many authentication protocols so set secure encryption transaction and uh, se secure socket layer 3d uh, sec uh, 3d secure so these are all the and https okay so here you can see that in 17.3 uh, you can see that https is a, a secure socket a secure uh, protocol which is used in uh, most of the banking sectors in our day-to-day -day life okay so here you can see that uh, with this we are finishing the, the chapter we'll see the new chapter in the next class which is uh, electronic data exchange ide okay uh, sorry e edi edi electronic data exchange in the next class thank you students